Well, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title of this video, I think I got robbed, guys. So let me tell you the deal. I don't know where this weird obsession happened with trying to find a banshee. Whatever the case may be, I found a banshee, right? Gunner helped me out find it. Gunner helped me find it. Found it on Facebook Market. I know Facebook Market is sketchy, right? But every now and then, there's some gems on there. So I thought to myself, wow, a 2006 50th anniversary Banshee. $9,500 is what it was listed for. Looked great in the photos, looked great in the videos. Talked the guy down to eight grand. Then we had to figure out how to get the guy the money. He was like some crackhead, ex-criminal. I don't know what the hell's going on, right? We figured out how to get the guy the money. It just so happens that Joe Cerruti, one of my gunners that has the transmission to the CRX, is in North Carolina. And he's roughly two and a half hours away. Called Joe. I said, hey, Joe, you think you can pick up a Banshee for me? What are you driving? He's got, oh, I got the pilot with the hitch on it. Maybe I can rent the trailer from U-Haul and I'll bring up the bike for you. Let's just set it up. Let's figure it out. I make a, I'm on live, I'm asking someone, hey, can you help me get eight grand to Joe Cerruti? Got a deal for a Banshee I'd like to buy. Looks great, looks great. That's where the problem lies. We figure out all that mess. Big shout out to Rampage in North Carolina. Big shout out to Miho DC4 in North Carolina. They helped make it possible. Big shout out to Joe Cerruti. Big shout out to Big Homie Lou. I love you guys, thank you so much for helping me. Last night, I'm sitting here waiting. Joe brings up the bike, and it's not what I expected. It's sitting right behind you, the camera. But this battery, which is supposed to be charged, is about to die. That's the intro, ladies and gentlemen. Let me swap that battery out. Hopefully, we can get some content on this Banshee right here. And we can also get some stuff done to the CRX on this beautiful Saturday morning. I'm glad you guys are back. Let's start gunning. All right. All right, now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right. All right, guys. Yep, all right. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say, 40? Yeah. Hi. Guys, before we start, before we start, can we get some appreciation for this valve cover for the CRX? I mean, K-Tune, you knocked it out the park. You knocked it out the park with the vented Type R colored K-Series valve cover. You knocked it out the park, guys. I love you, K-Tune. There she is. Before we start, I named this bike after Lou's daughter. Her name is Lakami. Real Puerto Ricanish, I know, real Puerto Ricans. Real pork and real pork and I was about to say pork and Ricanish. Sorry about that. My Rican brothers. Real Puerto Rican. Big shout out to his daughter. She's a beautiful girl. She's my niece. Can't wait to meet her. Anyway, Lakami. Again, see how sexy that looks from right here? What you, what is Aki talking about? Spike looks stellar. Let me explain. We got some holes drilled into here. These are very rare plastics. That's not good, okay? Um, we've got a couple of bolts that are gone right here, screws that are missing. Uh, this arm is a different color than this arm and this arm is bent, this A arm. We did see that in the video. We did see that in the photos. We tried to negotiate the price. The guy wouldn't go under eight grand. And I want you guys to let me know if I got robbed or not. Write it down in the comments. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> that doesn't look too great. And this one is broken off, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm basically right now showing you all the flaws on this bike, hoping that maybe in the near future, in a couple of weeks, we start restoring this thing to make it look amazing. So. This Nerf guard is cracked here. Again, the guy said it was in pristine condition. Okay? Pristine condition. That's not pristine. Don't, no, no, don't you worry. It gets a little bit worse. 
Um, that guy's leaning like Fat Joe, okay? Someone told me that I can heat this up and straighten it back up, right? Hopefully we can get that done because these plastics are super rare. This one's completely shot. This tab is broken here. We're gonna need a new one for this side. Uh, what else you got? Check the oil, it looks terrible. This guy didn't even wash it. I mean, the frame looks like it's in, the frame's in great shape. There's no rust on this bike, which is great too. This screw is missing, I wonder why. That's got me a little sketched out. And um, from what I see right now, that's all the flaws. Again, I was expecting a pristine conditioned bike and it kind of gave us a hard time turning it on off the trailer. From the video, he turned it on with one kick. Swapped out the plugs, look at this. Completely fouled out. Now, I got a 32 to one mix in it right now. I shook up two gallons in here. <laughs> Did a little bit of Amazon shopping, bought my little mix bottle here, bought some uh, Yamalube, and that's basically it. So I did manage to turn the bike on yesterday, take it around the block, clutch feels great, very fast bike, but it's it, you could definitely feel that it needs a little bit of maintenance. Also, the biggest flaw that I didn't see, guys, Look at this hole here, man. Look at that hole. So, again, there is a few screw. There's a few of these screws missing. I can't quite find right here. This one, I, I don't know if it's a clip or is it a screw? That's threaded in the back. Let's check the other side. How is it attached to the fairing? Yeah, it's a screw. All right, is there a bar there? Oh. Well, that's for that side. Did I just look at the wrong side? So I'm assuming that's a clip. All right. So I don't, I don't necessarily see anything else at the moment. Uh, again, the fluid looks terrible. Let's see. Oh God. So I did order a tune-up kit for this. Those are two new plugs in there too. Look how bad this oil looks. Damn. It's not gonna... It's... It's not gonna really show. Let me see if I... Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Oh, God, I just jizzed on myself. Pause. Where's my O-ring? Did I lose my O-ring or did it sit in there? Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So, definitely needs a little bit of maintenance. You can smell a lot of fuel in that gas. I mean, you can smell a lot of fuel in that fluid there. You can smell like a lot of two-stroke. Again, not too savvy on this Banshee stuff, but I'm learning. I had one in the past, but you know, I didn't really get to mess around with it too much. Let's check out the filter. Okay, let's put this seat away. Hope you guys are enjoying the long clips. Plus. Want to join the giveaway? There it is. Pins. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. We need to do good. <laughs> we need to do good, my boy. Let's check out this filter together. Okay, so it's been modified to bring in some better air. I've seen that in a couple of videos. I've seen that in a couple of videos to where they modify them. Nice. Yeah, that, that filter's shot. That filter's completely shot. Yeah, we're going to need to do... Yeah. I mean, yeah, this thing needs some love, man. This thing needs some love. I love this badge right here. I don't know, guys. We're going to hopefully uh, Seb will be here shortly. And um, watch this. fucking creep what a creep I don't know hopefully Seb will be here shortly we can put together the interior on the CRX oh also let me show you this how do you like the neochrome on the green let me know what you think also let me know what you think in the comments about the Banshee did I get bamboozled eight grand eight grand I paid for this 
This is the worst part. Look at the bill of sale. Did I get bamboozled? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys say? Turn it on, see how it sounds real quick. I think it's time. Let me see if I can set this camera up real quick at a good angle. Hold on, bear with me guys, I'm with you. How's that look, fine? Let's see. All right. Don't let me down, bud. Don't let me down. Gas on. Gas on. Choke out. It's in neutral. Key on. Run here. sent me the video one kick it was on and it did great I get the bike here it's kind of giving me an issue turning on and staying on brand new plugs I think it's got a. I think it's got a fuel delivery problem, bro. What's that? I think these carbs are 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 gunked oh, up. Okay. You can Trying not to give it gas. Yeah, guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. Again, in the video, kicked on, stayed on. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I got fresh fuel in it. Maybe the carburetors, they need to be cleaned out. I don't, I don't really know, but I don't know. Let me see if I can keep it on. Okay, take a ride with me. Take a ride with me. is out. Fuel is on, right? Let's put it on reserve. Maybe the fuel wasn't on. Guys, is the longer piece for on or is it this arrow? It's got to be on, right? This guy, he's stuck on me. He's stuck. Then it just dies. Yeah. My leg is killing me, man. Then it just dies. I don't know what's going on. Well, I got it to idle. Not anymore. Not anymore, guys. Got it to idle and give it gas. Let's see how long 
it stays on. Someone said in uh, my Instagram comments something about repacking the pipes. I don't know what that means, but I am definitely looking for more of that crispier snap. It seems as though this pipe is blowing less smoke than that one for some reason. I don't know if that makes any sense. So maybe the carburetor's definitely got to get clean. But we know the bike turns on. Like I said, I rode it yesterday. The clutch feels great. Um, it does have a little bit of bog in the beginning. Sounds like definitely a fuel issue. If I had to guess, if I had to assume, if I had to guess, if I had to assume, guys, we have a problem here in these carburetors. Because we know with that two-stroke oil sitting in those carbs, it starts to build up that gunk. And from what we've seen inside that filter, uh, it looks pretty messy in there. And that's nothing I want to mess with. I'm not good with this stuff. So maybe I'll have somebody of an expert come over here and help me clean that out. I mean, it does look self-explanatory. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? I can do that shit on my own. But whatever, we'll save that. We'll figure that part out. But... Got it to idle. Got it to start. Man, this guy is getting so annoying. He just keeps staring at me. He just keeps staring. I just, every time I go outside to do something, he's just standing there like this. Imagine that's you in the bike. He's just like this. Jesus Christ, bro. Get a life, dude. Man, the hell with that bike. <laughs> I can't get that thing to idle again. I just tried. Anyway, man, I think it's time, bro. I think it's time to get this valve cover onto here and make this motor flourish, clean up a couple of things along the way. But I'm going to move these axles off the stand, work nice and clean there, have the camera facing me, and uh, let's get this valve cover on. I got fresh gaskets on it. Fresh spark plug grommets, they actually come with the valve cover already installed. That's one less thing you got to worry about. And then we're going to change up some of those bolts here. And uh, I got some fresh um, uh, valve cover grommets for there. Those, I don't know if I said it right, those were spark plug grommets. But let me move this motor over there and work nice and neat on this table. I got my tools, I got my tools. Fuck you. All right, guys, let's kick ass. Um, so I put these screws with the washers, the Downstar hardware, just not to lose them, these bolts. Man, I kind of want to be in the frame. Let me see if I could raise this up a little bit. Hold on, guys. I think it's rude. Right there. How are we looking now? Oh, much better. Much better. How you guys doing? How are you enjoying this vlog? Some of you laughing at me because I've been bamboozled by a crackhead in North Carolina. I'm going to beat the dog shit at you. I find you. I beat the dog shit at you. Dog poop will come out of you. Oh, my God. He beat the shit out of him so bad. Dog poop came out of him. Shit like that. Anyway. Um, all right. Coils are out. Hybrid racing. This is going to have jizz on it. Yes, it is. Oh, clean oil. At least the oil is clean. Cleaner than that Banshee oil. <laughs> what a subliminal. Let's take a look at here. Let's take a peek at here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got all this new anyway. Take off these tens. We're throwing these directly out. How you guys enjoying um, the CRX giveaway? How much of a good job you think I'm doing? Yeah. I hope I'm doing a good job. I don't know if I got to say it on YouTube. I've been sharing it on um, Instagram. You guys got to check out a couple of movies I'd like to suggest. The first one is called Sisu. S-I-S-U. -S I hope I'm saying it right. I found it through the Joe Rogan podcast. Incredible movie. S-I-S-U. 
If you've watched it, don't be a spoiler, but let, let us know in the comments if it's a great movie. I thought it was great. 8 out of 10. Another good movie, and a couple of people have watched it, is Land of Bad. Really shows you the technology that our military has now is crazy. And it's like kind of next level. I mean, really, really good movie. Um, I figure, you know, just share a little dialogue with you while I'm removing a valve cover. So, you got two movies. You got Sisu, S-I-S-U, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and Land of Bad. You will not be disappointed. Like me. Getting that banshee. A lot of subs, a lot of subliminals, a lot of subliminals, who cares? Who cares? We'll laugh at Aki. I'll be the butt of the jokes in the banshee world. Mira tal cabrón, stick to cars. Stick to cars, bicho. Wow, that valve cover shit. That valve cover shit. Internals look great. Everything looks nice and shiny. Oil was clean. That valve cover is very old. But um, what we're going to do is, before installing this valve cover, most important thing you want to do is clean the oil around the cylinder head. And I'm going to show you the exact spot to put silicone so that you can guarantee not to have a valve cover leak. Now, I'll show you and then I'll remove it and then we'll get it ready for the install. So you've got basically everywhere there's a break in the cylinder head. You've got four corners, right? So you've got the rocker assembly that attaches to the cylinder head. You need to put a little dab of Honda Bond in that corner. Not too much, just a little dab like that in the corner and then put the valve cover on. This corner and then obviously the side cover has a break from the cylinder head. A little dab in that corner and a little dab in that corner. Believe it or not, that's great information because the last thing you want to do is end up fixing an oil leak in the car on your valve cover and you just got to mess all over the place. You got to move the harness. You got to remove the coils. Well, you don't have to remove the coils. You get what I'm saying. Proper maintenance first. I'm going to take a razor, clean all that up, take a, a, a gray scuff pad, clean that area up, wipe it down with some um, brake fluid and um, not brake fluid, a uh, brake cleaner and install the nice clean red one. Be right back guys. Whoa, you seen that? The old, uh, the old scuff pad with brake cleaner. Again, took off the, the thicker pieces of the Honda Bond silicone, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not going to really go too aggressive on this. I'm just going to wipe it down, just like that, along the way. And then in the corners, I'm going to remove the rest of that silicone residue. So we can have a nice, fresh base for the new silicone, the new Honda Bond, whatever you want to call it. So, again, working nice and clean. You know, guys, we do our job here. So do you. I know you guys love these kind of vlogs too. I know you love these vlogs. I miss vlogging a lot more, man. Now I won't lie to you. I miss helping you guys out. Without a doubt about that. Without a doubt about that. If that even makes sense. Just shooting the old shits on the camera. But yeah, that's pretty much done. Clean that up, right? Go along the way here. Just make sure we have a nice clean surface. Take our microfiber, wipe off anything there. This is never gonna leak, ever. Not even if there's a fire. Not even if there's a fire, I'm never calling them dad. What movie? What movie, folks? Ah, it feels good to see shiny aluminum. It does feel good. Okay, that surface is ready. Now again, just gonna put a little Honda Bond in those four corners. You guys hang tight. Why not? Battery's holding up. Fresh tube of Honda Bond, the best stuff in the world. The best. 
Yes, we're good, but I have a little bit of oil on my gloves. And we all know I'm a diva, and I don't want to mess up my manicure. What a diva. Just a little dab like that in all four corners. Let the silicone do the job. A little bit of dabbing. That's it. Just in that corner. I'll show you in a second. That's it. All right, let me show you. Just in that corner, just a little dab right there. All four corners. A little bit of love, okay? So that it, it makes a nice seal, and at the same time, we could remove it easily, too. So what do you think? Keep the clip going? Just add the valve cover? No, why not? We have a valve cover. Let's see. Let's give you a good angle on there. How we looking, folks? How we look? How we looking, son? You don't forget to cover the Honda Bond. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I love this stuff. Okay, no oil on the hands. Valve cover going on. Gaskets in place. Gaskets clean. I wiped it down already. That's it. We're done. Let's take a look at it together. Wow, yeah. Just looks like a completely different motor. Much more aggressive. Much more racing. Congracing, congracing, congracing. That looks good. All right, let me find some fresh grommets. I've got a whole tote full of them, and I'm gonna find some clean tons, but all this is gonna get thrown out. Let me get my hardware right, folks. I mean, we're going from that that fresh grommets fresh 10 mils I'm gonna tighten those with a quarter inch kind of just move away from each other get everything to go down evenly and just tighten up this valve cover and something about I'm telling you that red color dude I mean, we all try different color powder coating valve covers but I mean what beats the red bro <laughs> I mean, it's like iconic to us Honda guys is this red. Just going to keep tightening this up. Make sure everything falls together nice and even. I've got uh, the K-Tune sticker for here. Remember, you always want to put that at the end after you tighten it. I've also got the, uh, the, the new version of their dipstick. We'll install that too. And then put the coils in and we'll see that contrast of that red and that gold here, but what do you guys think? Can't go wrong. How I look right now, my niggas? I look right now, I'm looking crazy, right? Let me fix myself, son. I'm looking real crazy out here, I know. I'm looking like a bug out. Yo, that's son of a bug out, son. Son of bug out, son. I know whoever be listening, like, in on the garage, probably like, yo, that dude's got issues, man. Stay from, stay from around that guy, man. Stay from around that guy. Oh, man. Wow, that's, guys, I, I wish you had this view right now, boss. That's coming out so nice with the coils. It just, I mean, the contrast is money. The contrast is money. Let me grab a screw here. Bolt, whatever the hell you want to call it for all you YouTube geeks. I mean, yeah. Okay, so also a little tip too, pause. You always want to push your co coils down as much as possible because you don't want that thread to get pulled out. Pause. So push down as much as you can until it basically locks into that little groove right there. You see that? Sometimes people just lay them in and then they use this thinking that they're all the way in and then you get that you get like this little flap. You get like this little you know gap in there. But ours are all the way pushed in. Pause. Let's take a look at this one here. See? And always thread by hand. You can ruin a valve cover just by doing this wrong. You want to make sure that all threads in by hand. 
and I cannot believe this battery is about to die. This is unbelievable. I've been whining about this battery stuff for way too long. What a weasel. All right, last one in here. Swap the battery. And then tighten that up with my hex keys over there. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. Voila! Wow, that's gonna be good. Find the hole, Lucky. You got two kids, you're good at it. Oh, yeah, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, bud. Absolutely. I got also got my breather here. It's going to go on the side, the K tuned one. Let's take that out. Bear with, bear with. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Pause. All right. What I'm not going to do is put those stickers on. Not right now. Why? Too cold. It'll start to peel back. I don't want to pull the heat gun out. Start torching this. I'll wait for a little bit better weather, but we'll leave it just like this for now. Let's move this ugly rag out of the way. I mean, I love it. It's going to look so good in this engine bay. So good. You know? So, yeah. We got something done. quit on you. I'm not going to quit on you, bud. I'm not going to quit on you. Didn't turn the fuel on. What a genius. Argentinians here. They know banshees. Yeah, I think this old boy's just gonna need a little carburetor flush. Something's going on here. He's absolutely right. Me and one of them fellas is in cahoots. He's absolutely right. There's an arrow there, you Hey! <laughs> good afternoon. Good. Good afternoon. Buen dia, buen No, dia. no, good afternoon. How do you say good afternoon, Seb? Buen dia. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Oh, buenas tardes. Mal parido. <laughs> what happened to you, Papa? Back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Woo! Let me see those sweats. Hey, look at you. Little Danny. Uh huh. <laughs> What's up, Seb? What do we got here? What do we got here? Seb. You what? You think? Banchi. Banchi. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I don't know what just happened here. I just been. What's up with your man? We got chairs inside. The heavy hockey. The heavy, heavy chara. Seb, sign us out. Sign us out from, from what? It's just, over just already? Just sign us out, bro. I'm out of here. All right. Love y'all. Seb, signing out.